with this video we will be doing Kendrick Lamar meet the grams and if you want to help this channel and the content that we make and please help put our merchandise the link is in the description if you didn't hit the like button make sure you hit the like button try and get the channel to grow and the only way we're going to do this if you like share and comment on the content so without further ado let's get into the video let's go What a time to be a reactor. Drake just dropped Family Matters 30 minutes later. Kendrick Lamar just um, dropped Meet the Gram. This is crazy. We know J. Cole somewhere riding this bike saying, this is why I got out of this. In the history of history, we have never seen nobody respond 30 minutes later uh, to a diss track. This is why we call him Kung Fu Kenny. But we're not going to waste no more time. We're going to get straight into this Meet the Grams. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Yeah, Dara Donis, I'm sorry that that man is- Yo, this is crazy. He started the song off with Dara Donis. We already know how he felt when Pusha T mentioned Adonis. I wonder how he feel uh, with K-Dot. This is going somewhere I never imagined it's going. First bar, Dara Donis, he writing his son a letter. It's crazy. Dara Donis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look- it takes a man to raise a man. Your dad is not a man, so he can't raise you to be a man. So since I'm a man, I'm gonna school you to some game, put my arm around you, talk to you, and tell you all the stuff that your dad's never gonna tell you. It's crazy. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would a world kind of. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind them. Uh -huh. Life is hard, I know. The Facts. challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. Facts. And you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never. Let me be your mentor since your dad don't teach you ish. And his first song is sound like he had his arm around Drake talking to Drake. This song is sound like he got his arm around Adonis talking to Adonis. And don't no man and want another man talking to their son. This is wild. They need good leadership. Let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your leg, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never. He said, yo, don't never let nobody play with you. Either you go down right there or you pop him in the head, son. That was crazy. And piss on your leg, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business. That's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never cope. You could be a bitch even though you got bitches. And don't do the escort thing. We don't do that. We not paying for it. We're going to get off our words, off our charisma. Because uh, this drip we got on, we ain't sitting up here paying for it. Where they do that at? That's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Facts. Never code switch, whether right or wrong. You're a black man, even if it don't benefit your goals. Do some push ups, mm. get some discipline. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym Ooh. membership. Uh don't pay from the Brazilians. Get a gym membership. Don't be like Drake and BBLs. Go to the gym. Hit some push-ups, work out. Don't put these chemicals in your body. Just work out and you'll get there. Don't take shortcuts. That's what Drake did. He's a shortcutter. You don't take shortcuts. Put that work in. Hard work and dedication always pays off. It's crazy. Don't benefit your goals. Do some push-ups. Get some discipline. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym membership. Understand, no throwing rocks and hiding hands. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treats your moms. Don't have a kid. Don't be ashamed who you with. That's how he treats your mom. If you're ashamed to be with her, then you shouldn't have probably never been with her uh, to begin with. You should be have pride and dignity by anybody you talk to. That's the reason why you're talking to him. He's saying, Drake, don't feel that way. Hands, that's law. Don't be ashamed. How are you going to tell this to his son? Like, yo, Adonis going to get up. This stuff is going to hurt him. Adonis going to have to deal with a lot. <laughs> From all this beef and all the stuff Drake did. You know, they say sometimes the sins of a father go to the child. And I feel like the sins of Drake is definitely going to go to Adonis. Get a gym membership. Understand, no throwing rocks and hiding hands. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treats your moms. Don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again. Be sure. 5% with comp. 
don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide a kid again. You got to be sure when you pick in um, who you talk to out here, this is the way I look at life. If you're not ready to have a baby by her or you can't see her being a, your baby mom, being your wife, you probably shouldn't talk to her because you have a baby, then you're going to be in this situation right here. Nobody don't want to be in a situation that Kendra's talking about. Moms, don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again, be sure 5% will comprehend, but 95 is lost right. Be proud of who you are, your strength come from within A lot of superstars, that's real Be proud of who you are, the strength comes within uh, You know Kendrick's on his conscious stuff, man If you're conscious, you know you have the strength within You don't gotta look outside of you All you gotta do is look inside of you for the answers Shout out to Kendrick, that's why people like Kendrick Because he give you bars like that If you know what he's talking about, it's gonna resonate be proud of who you are, your strength come from within A lot of superstars that's real, but your daddy ain't one of them And you not There's a lot of superstars that are real, but unfortunately Your dad's not one of, one of them And throughout this song, when I finish explaining this Meet the Grams to you Then you're gonna understand why your daddy is not one of them It's crazy They come from within, a lot of superstars that's real But your daddy ain't one of them and you nothing like him You'll carry yourself as king mm. Can't understand me right now Just play this when you 18 You can't understand this right now Just play this when you 18 And you gonna understand everything Wow Self is king Can't understand me right now Just play this when you 18 <laughs> Dear Sandra Your son got some habits I hope you don't undermine them Especially now he's writing to his mom. Meet the Grams. Do everybody in Drake family get a letter? First the son, now the mom. Who's next? I didn't even know Drake mom was Sandra, but that's what's up. Dear Sandra, your son got some habits. I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate. You a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment with emotions, hoping the man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis. That's crazy. He's talking to his mom like, yo, you's a female. You know what Drake is doing to these females. Why are you letting him um, do it? Um, would you be? Would you like it if someone did to you what Drake is doing to these other females? And that's crazy. He He's going deep. He's cutting Drake with a scalpel. To be in alignment with emotions, hoping the man can see you and not be blinded. Right. Dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Even using you. Dear Dennis. The son get bars, the mom get bars, now the dad get bars. This is crazy. I have never seen some shit like this. Somebody writing a diss note to everybody in your family. And that's crazy because Drake dropped his song, Family Matters. And Kendra said, yeah, families matter so much. I'm going to write a letter to everybody in your family. It's crazy. Not be blinded, dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator Even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor I think you should ask for more paper, and more paper, and more <laughs> He said, yo, Drake using you because he's half white, half black His black side come for you, and because he's using you and saying he's black If I was you, I would ask for more paper, more paper, and guess what? A little bit more paper, that's crazy Huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper and more paper and more, uh, more paper. Thanks. I'm blaming you for all this gambling addiction, uh -huh. psychopath intuition, the man that like to play victim. You raised a horrible fuck. He said, "Yo, you you raised a son that liked to uh, play victim, but I blame it on you. You wasn't around." He said it earlier. It takes a man to make a man. You wasn't there to put this and still this into Drake. That's why he's the man that he became today. He said, "Like to play victim." That made me think about what somebody was saying about the song that Kendrick made, Six Sixteen in L.A., which was made uh, by was produced by Taylor Swift. And in that song, he's basically saying, like Drake was saying, uh, Taylor Swift is buying her number one spot and stuff like that. So Taylor Swift got into it and. People were saying Taylor Swift is not buying her stream. She's like that because she liked that. And that reminds me of the, what he's saying right here that Drake be playing victim. It's crazy. Addictions, psychopath intuition, the man that liked to play victim. You raised a horrible fucking person. The nerve of you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen. He said, Sandra, sit down. What I say. He told his mom to sit down. You don't want to be on your feet for what you about to hear. So you might as well sit down because you might just pass out. So we don't want you to pass out, hit your head on the floor. We'd rather you just be sitting down if you pass out. You just ready on the couch. It's crazy. Fucking person. Drake's not going to like this. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen. <clears throat> your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest. They laugh. He hate That's crazy. He said, yo, sit down.
Let me tell you about your son. There's a lot of stuff going on with your son behind the scenes that you don't know about. But when you put his name next to Harvey Weinstein, that's not the name that you want anybody um, that you don't you don't want your name nowhere near Harvey Weinstein. It's kind of remind me about uh, what Ice Spice sister said when she said uh, that Drake was trying to uh, knock off Ice Spice and he was trying to act like he was signing to OBO um, so he could uh, get the cheeks. And it just remind me of that type of situation, how they saying Drake be using his power and influence to try to pressure females to do what they want by offering them deals and offering them stuff. Um, almost what they said Harvey Weinstein would do by offering you movie roles and stuff if you did what he wanted, which is crazy. I think niggas like him should die Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest they lie Woo. He hates black women, hypersexualize them with kinks of a nympho fetish mm -hmm. Go facial hair because he understood being a beard just fit him better He got sex offenders on Hovio that he keep on a monthly allowance And a child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him and Man, he say, yo, he got some predators in the circle you feel what I'm saying? Not only did he bring got predators in the circle, he had his kids around him. The last thing you'd want is your kids around a predator, which is crazy. Well, that he keep on a monthly allowance. And a child should never be compromised, and he keeping his child around him. And we gotta raise our daughters, knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle, he should die so all of these women can live with a purpose. I've been in this industry 12 years, I'ma tell y'all one little secret. It's some weird shit going on, and some of these artists be here to police it. They be streaming. He said, yo, I've been in this game for a long, long time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of weird stuff going on. There's people um, here to police it, uh, which I think is crazy. And it reminds me of Cat Williams when he said, everyone's being exposed in 2024. And this right here looked like part of what Cat Williams was talking about, with everyone getting exposed in 2024, because it looks like Drake getting exposed. And this last couple of days, Drake been looking a little funny in the light. I'm not going to lie. Tell y'all one little secret. It's some weird shit going on, and some of these artists be here to police it. They be streamlining victims all inside of their home and calling them tender. Then leak videos, set themselves to further push their agendas. Ooh. To any woman that be playing this music, know that you're playing your sister. Or better yet, selling your niece to the weirdos, not the good ones. Cat Williams, I gave you the truth, so I'ma get mine. That's crazy. Uh, he brought up Cat Williams. I just was talking about uh, Cat Williams. But now he's going at Drake's bottom line. He's trying to affect the people that listen to him. Like, yo, you need to know who you support. And when you listen to him, you're putting females down. You're putting your sisters down. You're putting your aunts down. You're putting your moms down. You shouldn't be listening to this guy. He's not who you think he is. When he log off Wi-Fi, he's a whole completely different person. And then he's painting them in a crazy light. Nobody want to be painted in this light that he painted them in, which is crazy. With the push their agendas to any woman that be playing this music, know that you're playing your sister. sister. Or better yet, selling your niece to the weirdos, not Ooh. the good ones. Cat Williams, I gave you the truth, so I'ma get mine. <laughs> the embassy about to get ready too. It's only a matter of time. Right. Hey, Lil Bron, keep the family away. Hey, Curry, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for their kids, keep the family away. They look. He said, yo, he got predators all around him. He's a predator too. LeBron James, Stephen Curry, if you love your kids, anybody that love your kids, keep them away from Drake and definitely keep them away from Drake's circle because he got people on payroll that ain't right. It's crazy. Hey, Curry, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for their kids, keep the family away. Ooh. They looking at you too if you're standing by him. Keep the family away. Right. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. <laughs> I'm hitting up any pervert that's around. I gotta keep the family safe. <sighs> keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much but his music, yeah, that's for sure. He a narcissist. Dear baby girl. Drake got a baby girl too? I ain't know Drake had a daughter. Inside your world, he don't commit to much but his music, yeah, that's for sure. He a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs. Mm. Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Dang, that was a bar. Drake brother try to destroy families to take care of his song. He's saying he's not taking care of Donis. Now he's saying he got a daughter that he's not taking care of. A daughter he tried to hide from the world. Where's Kendrick getting all this information from? He definitely got a leak in OVO because I never heard of that. And I'm pretty sure I'm surprised somebody didn't been exposed that. That's crazy. Chin is living inside his songs. Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Should be teaching you timetables or watching Frozen with you. Or at your 11th birthday singing poems with you. 11th birthday? How old is his daughter? Um, If you know who she is, let me know in the comments. That's crazy. If he had an 11-year-old daughter, that would be crazy. And if he do, 
Kendrick just won. Who's so watching Frozen with you? Or at your 11th birthday singing poems with you? Instead, he being Turks, paying for sex and popping perks, examples that you don't deserve. Your dad should be with you at your birthday parties. Um, he should be with you um, at all your events. But instead of that, he had Turks popping perks, uh, messing with the females. Um, he'd rather be caught in the limelight than be a family man. And that's what Kendrick keep pointing out um, a lot. Kendrick's always talking about how I'm with my family. He always talking about Drake is not with his family. Uh, which one you want to be? Anybody that know me, I'm a family man. All day. With you, your steady being Turks, paying for sex and popping perks, examples that you don't deserve. I want to tell you that you're loved, you're brave, you're kind, you got a gift to change the world and can change your father's mind, because our children is the future. He said, yo, you got a gift and you could change the world and you got a chance to change your uh, father's mind, because we know a lot of guys, they do stuff or play around with females until they have a daughter and they realize some guys gonna be doing the same thing to my daughter so they get they act right because they don't want the same thing that they doing to other females happen to their daughter um so i think that's what he meant by yo you could change drake mind because no one no no one will change how guys act towards females quicker than their daughter and that's a fact Han, you got a gift to change the world and can change your father's mind because our children is the future but he lives inside confusion mm -hmm. money's always been illusion but that's the life he's used to right. his father probably didn't claim him neither history do repeats itself sometimes god damn <laughs> we all know drake dad was not heavily involved in this life and he said drake dad probably didn't claim him either that's why he's not claiming y'all it's crazy Shots fired. Used to his father probably didn't claim him neither. History do repeats itself. Sometimes it don't need a reason. But I would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child. Give him grace. This the reason. It's not your fault that he's hiding another child. So that make you think if he's hiding another child, could he be hiding other children? And like Drake, how many kids do you got? And why are you not claiming them? I would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding. You got all this money, you could take care of these kids. We know you you are, but why are you not claiming your kids? That stuff like that affects kids' self esteem. That they know they're in the world, they know you're your dad, and they know that you're not claiming them. That could really affect the child's self esteem. Now that I'm hearing this, I'm glad that uh Kendrick is doing this. Maybe uh some of this will get in uh Drake's head and Drake her rethink some things of how he's living if he go through these bars and these bars is true he definitely want to rethink how he's living um because you could get exposed quick like Kendrick's doing right here repeats itself sometimes it don't need a reason but i would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child Ooh. give him grace this the reason i made mr morale Ooh. so our babies like you can cope later give you some confidence right. to go through something it's hope later yeah. i never want to hear you chasing man because it's felt behavior sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation you need to know he said i don't want you to go through the the bs i'm gonna put some confidence in you i'm gonna build you up because i know with females about if you don't build them up give them confidence they'll go looking for the attention in the wrong place i don't want you going looking for attention in the wrong place so i'm gonna school you i'm gonna put you on i'm gonna set you on the right path because the path you get your dad is sending you on it is a destructive path i see it the world see it um so we're gonna try to fix this we're gonna try to talk to drake yo kendrick's actually helping drake's family out you know what i'm saying that's what this song gonna do it's gonna help drake out because he's gonna look at the song and then realize that i'm maybe i'm not spending the time i need to spend with my kids maybe the stuff that i thought is important it's not important because we all know this material stuff jewelry cars houses that stuff is not important what's important um is family and the legacy that we leave behind some confidence to go through something it's hope later i never want to hear you chasing man because it's felt behavior right. sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation. validation you need to know that love is eternity and trumps all pain yes. i tell you who your father is just play this song when it rains mm. yes he's a hit maker songwriter superstar right and the fucking dead beat that should never say more life he said, this nigga's a deadbeat that should never say uh, more life. Let me tell you about your dad. Your dad's a hit maker. He's a songwriter. He's a superstar. And guess what? He's also a fucking deadbeat. That was crazy. Songwriter, superstar, right? And the fucking deadbeat that should never say more life. Woo! Meet the Grams. Meet the Grams. Dear Harbury, I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party. But truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. This a Dear Aubrey, I know you think I wanted to crash your party, but I don't got a hating bone in my body. I didn't want to do this to you, but I'm going to do it regardless. <laughs> wanted to crash your party, 
But truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body It's supposed to be a good exhibition within the game But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name Yo he said, yo, I ain't want to do this to you, but yo, you, I just wanted to have an exhibition game. I just wanted to compare the pens. The world just wanted to see who's top dog. That's what I want to do. But you fucked up. You said my family name. Now, the gloves is off. Exhibition within the game But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name Why you had to stoop so low to discredit some decent people Guess integrity is lost when the metaphors doesn't reach you Woo! And I like the hum That's a bar Why you gotta discredit people Cause integrity is lost when the metaphors don't reach people That was tough don't let that bar go over your head. Of decent people, guess integrity is lost when the metaphors doesn't reach you. And I like to understand, cause your house was never a home. 37, but you showing up. Your house was never a home, because they say they make a, you need a female. A female turn a house into a home. We know Drake don't be wife and females, he just be from chick to chick. So your house was never a home, cause you never had a female in there to make it a home. That was a bar. And I like to understand cause your house was never for a home 37 but you showing up as a 7 year old You got get You 37 you start acting like a kid Grow up Drake you're about to be 40 It's time to grow up <laughs> Crazy. House was never for a home. 37, but you showing up as a seven year old. You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems. Bad with money, horror house, soliciting women problems. Therapy's a lovely start, but I suggest some ayahuasca stripped. He said, Yo, you got all type of problems, my guy. You got gambling problems, you got popping pill problems, um, you got spending money problems. I would say uh, you should start off in therapy. When he said that, it reminded me of the video where Kendrick was uh, sitting down talking to a therapist. And he's saying, Drake. Uh, that's where you need to start to try to fix some of these problems. Crazy. Illicit and women problems. Therapy's a lovely start, but Ooh. I suggest some ayahuasca. Strip the ego from the bottom. Right. I try to empathize with you, cause I know that you ain't been through nothing. Crave entitlement, but want to be like so bad that it's puzzling. No doubt. He said, yo, I was trying to empathize with you, cause I know you ain't been through nothing. You was in Canada, you wasn't raised like I was raised in Compton. You wasn't raised like I was raised um, in Bompton. You got some entitlement, and you want to be cool so bad. At this point, it's just puzzling. Like, that was wild. You ain't been through nothing, crave entitlement But wanna be like so bad that it's puzzling No dominance, let's recap moments when you didn't fit in No secret handshakes with your friend, no culture cash He said, yo, let's talk about the times where you didn't fit in uh, When you didn't feel like you was black enough And you didn't feel like you was white enough at the same time I know it made you feel some type of way in the side So let's talk about that And that goes back to what he was saying You probably need to go to therapy for some of that stuff Because um, that's what it's looking like It's like it's looking like at this point, Drake's letting his childhood affect his growth own manhood um anybody could see that if you know simple psychology the stuff he did this everything you see right now what drake went through as a kid um and anybody can see that it's not rocket science i'm an ins let's recap moments when you didn't fit in no secret handshakes with your friend no culture cachet to binge just disrespecting your mother identities on the fence don't know which family would love you the skin that you living in is compromised and personas can't channel your masculine even when standing next to a woman you a body shamer you go hide them baby mamas ain't you you embarrassed he said, you're going to go hide them baby mamas, ain't you? Why are you hiding your baby mamas? And you only come to one conclusion. You're embarrassed. You're in shame. Other than that, there's no reason to hide your baby moms. No one really cares anyway. And then next to a woman, you a body shamer. You go hide them baby mamas, ain't you? You embarrassed of them. That's not right. That ain't how mama raised us. Ooh. Take that mask off. I want to see what's under them achievements. Take that mask off. I want to see what's under them achievements. I want to see the real you, not who you pretending to be. I want to see the real Aubrey Graham. That was hard. Right, that ain't how mama raised us. Take that mask off. I want to see what's under them achievements. Yeah. Why believe you? You never gave us nothing to believe in. Because you lied about religious views. You lied about your surgery. You lied about your accent and your past tense. All is perjury. You lied about... Now you lied about everything. That's straight perjury. That was hard. This He said that was perjury. And this song right here is lyrical surgery. No cap. You lied about your surgery. You lied about your accent and your past tense. All is perjury. You lied about your ghost riders. You lied about your crew members. They all pussy. You lied on them. I know they all got you in them. You Ooh. lied about your son. You yeah. lied about your daughter, huh? You yeah. lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come. He said, you lied about them other kids that's out there that's hoping that you come. Drake, how many kids do Drake got? 
This is getting ugly. Drake, how many kids do you got, my boy? Son, you lied about your daughter, huh? You lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come. You lied about the only artist that can offer you some help. Fuck a rap battle. This a long life battle with yourself. Fuck a rap battle. You got a long life battle with yourself. Mm, that's crazy. It's Trey TV. If I had to rake the song, I start by saying this right here was fire. I definitely like what Kendrick did right here. He didn't raise his voice at all. He just sat back and talked to him. And I know it hurt it because it hurted me for Drake just listening to that. This right here was just crazy. He wrote a letter to his mom, his dad, his son, his unborn daughter that nobody knew about. Almost remind me of the Pusha T in the Donna situation. Talk about him popping pills and being bad with his money. Like everyone was talking about like. Kendrick took a long time to respond to Drake. It sounded like he took a long time because he was loading up the clip. He didn't want to put one bullet in the clip. He got a lot of bullets in the clip, so anything Drake dropped, he got a response to it. I don't... He didn't just record that. That was something he already had in a tuck, and it almost made me think that Drake really got somebody in his camp telling uh, Kendrick what he's going to do because how did Kendrick have that... 30 minutes after uh, he had the family song. I think it's crazy. I like the way it's playing out. I think uh, Kendrick just body that that was just was crazy the way he just broke everything down i definitely uh like that a lot if i describe this on the one to ten i'm definitely giving it a ten definitely think for some heat shout out to kendrick he's seen he's showing you his pen game he also was showing you why people call him kung fu kenny he had 10 threes all three songs he dropped was three uh, was tens and he dropped three songs in 72 hours which is crazy can't wait to see what else come from this battle but until then it's your boy trey tv and i'm out